guys this is bubbly pam and this is another vlog of special isabella so today i participated in one of the parents groups um to give support you talk and they share their uh, experiences and their lives and what they have been going through and uh, basically to get, hold each other's turn hands and it was fun I mean it's not like oh wow super fun but at least it's a safe place to turn open right up and share right. your emotions and your uh, your heartbreak your sadness and whatever uh, that you're experiencing so I really like uh, the group it's small and it's confidential too so yeah I didn't want to record and I don't want to share anything uh, that I right, saw the only thing that I can say is that there are worse cases and families that are even more lost and I am <laughs> the only thing I'm gonna say is that there's a couple that have three children with special needs and I don't even know if my daughter has special needs or just all I know is that my daughter is behind so I pray to the Lord that he gives me strength to go on every day so Isabella is scheduled to see her teacher once a week now the teacher has given her the services and uh, we are waiting on a hearing test and the referral uh, to the developmental pediatrician she is enrolled in the exceptional family member program that the military provides and she is category four and um, she already had a hearing test in hawaii however she it was inconclusive because um she didn't pass the part where she was supposed to pay attention the physical part was okay but the other part where she had to like pay attention to the sounds and uh, she didn't pass of course she was so distracted so they said repeat this exam again we took her uh, last week to the ENT because we believe that she might have a lip tie so that person uh, got us a referral for a speech therapist and for another surgeon so if they're gonna assess if it's um, necessary for her to get that lip tie uh, like cut They want to rule out if that is causing her speech delay, which I sure, I'm sure that it's not. And uh, so I'm waiting on all these uh, appointments that are taking forever. I'm on a waiting list. It just takes forever. It was faster in Hawaii. Mm. So, <clears throat> in two weeks after the assessment that she got uh, Monday for saying about what type of services she was gonna get, um, they should contact me, the regional center should contact me for um, scheduling the services that she's gonna get about a occupational therapy, speech therapy, physical therapist and a psychology or something like that you're gonna call me and um, 
and schedule this. If they haven't called in two weeks, I have to call. Which, of course, I will. I am a very pushy mama. And I'm gonna call. I was even off our job there, but I was like, eh. I didn't want to because, I mean, at first, I was like, I need to see what's going on with my daughter. Then, I'm, I see if I have time for a job. And the job was basically providing services. Because of my background in teaching uh, special needs children, uh, they were like, yeah, you should. Like, I was like, Take ramp right to California, 274 West. Well, I didn't. Yeah, so I got disconnected. My phone died. So I just got home. I put Isabella down for her nap. And now I'm here. So, on my update on her, <sighs> her de developmental uh, boot camp. Um, yeah, it will be very intense and she will do all of her work and luckily she will catch up and all that. But emotionally, it can be very hard on you because uh, you want to connect with your child. I've been experiencing a lot of rejection from her side or more than that is like very little acknowledgement of my presence. She shows that I am... I don't exist, but not. So I'm even thinking, does my daughter love me at all? I went to pick her up at the daycare uh, on this uh, parents group. Now I was Isabella, mi amor, ven con mamá. Nothing, nothing. It's like a bad boyfriend. A boyfriend that doesn't love you. That That's how you feel, like that boyfriend that you love to death and that he doesn't care for you, that's how you feel. And then when I'm like, Isabella, my dear baby, guess whose attention I get? Yeah. Hers. <laughs> but, but I love them. I love them. You, 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 you. I, uh, I mean, I know that I'm still lovable, but it's hard. I mean, she's my little precious. Like, I mean, look at this picture. Isn't she the cutest thing ever? She's adorable. That's us. Us again. That's my family. So sometimes it's hurtful because you want your daughter to say, Mama, Mama, to cry. The normal reaction is to cry when you leave them take care of Isabella, couldn't care less. Couldn't care less. Yeah. That time, sometimes that hurts me. Hurts me because it's like she doesn't need me. She doesn't care for me. She did I do something wrong? Yeah. I love her so much and this waiting is killing me because I mean this waiting is very hard because you don't know what's going on with your baby and you love that child. So you, you you just want to know and 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 give her the what she needs. So 
see that you know some stuff. You call me mommy. You want her to tell me mama. Milk. More. But I'm doing everything I can and I have, I absolutely, I won't let myself dwell on this. I am not going to back down. I am not going to feel sorry for myself. I am going to be there actively. And I'm gonna give her my soul, my heart, my life, and she's gonna get everything. She's going to strike, and she's going to be an amazing, amazing child, child of God, because she's perfect, just the way she is. So, I'm gonna keep you posted with more information. This week, there's no more early interventional meetings. She's done. And next week, I have to go again, and she's got, she's got another appointment, and I should be getting a phone call for, for her other services and the other therapists. So. Thank you for sharing these moments with me and listening to your comments. Um, you want to know more about my daughter? Subscribe there, I'll link at the bottom below. And don't forget, you know, beauty is the beauty that counts. The other one is all made up. And keep bubbling people, okay? See ya. Bye.